Hello friends, I am Professor Vagmani Bhaiya. Today you can see the exercise on the preparation methods of uh, a poem and compost. You can see the first one compost. The compost making is a process of decomposing plant residues in the heap or uh, pit rather than in the soil with a view of to bring the plant nutrient elements is uh, in more reliable uh, really or readily available form. Uh, you can see the first one compost uh, is a concept that is well ro ro rotted plants or uh, the animal residues is called as compost or it contains high organic matter high and uh, higher percentage of major nutrients compared to the FI. Hence it is valuable for improving the ma uh, maintaining the soil fertility. In composting, composting is largely a biological process in which the microorganisms of both types that is aerobic and anaerobic decompose the organic matter and lower down the CN uh, ratio, that is carbon uh, nitrogen ratio of the refuse. This is a con concept of uh, compost. Next one you can see the types of compost. That is first one ruler compost, that is compost from the farm litter. It, this utilizes weeds, rubbles, uh, the crop stubbles, farm yard uh, wastage, straw crops, then residues such as cotton stock, ground, uh, groundnut husks, leaves, sugarcane trash, urine. So, so earth and the litter from the cattle set and the waste pot. In second one, the urban compost, that is compost from the town refuse. The main components of the town compost are night soil and the uh, state of the uh, and the dust in uh, refuse and the wood ashes. This is this is the type of uh, uh, types of the compost. Next one, the methods of uh, preparation of the farm compost. That is first one indoor method. That is also called aerobic shallow trench method. And this method was worked out by Howard uh, in uh, 1931. And the composting was done from the waste material like woody and the hard residues like cotton and tour stock. The material required for this uh, for preparation of the compost by this method are mixed plant residues, animal dung, urine, earth, wood ashes, water and soil. You can see the in detail procedure. That is first one woody and hard uh, material like cotton and tour stocks are chopped in the small pieces and crushed by the spreading farm roads for being tramped under the feet of the bullocks. The material like trash, farm waste, and the, uh, are mixed in uh, mix and the heap of all these material in uh, uh, materials is prepared. The pit should be uh, uh, made that is about 5, 10 by 1.5 to 2 uh, by 1 meter in size, and the it should be near as possible to cattle shed and water supply. The material is spread evenly in the pit layer by uh, the 7.5 to 10 centimeter earth layer being covered by thin layer that is 2.5 to 5 centimeter. Each layer spread with the slurry made up of cattle dung and sufficient quantity of water sprinkled over the material in the pit to make it uh, moist but not too wet. Then spraying of water also helps for the proper decomposition of the material. Then in this way the pit is filled layer by layer. It should not be take more uh, than 6 to 7 days to fill the pit uh, in this manner. Uh, the pit is filled uh, till the material is 30 cm above the ground level or to level the ground. Then whole length of the pit should not be filled, leaves uh, about one fourth area. Then pit empty the uh, uh, to facilitate subsequent turnings. Then material is allowed to decompose for about two weeks. Then material is turned in uh, three times, first uh, about 15 days after filling, filling the pit, second after 15 days and third after that is 60 days after filling. The, at each turning the material is mixed properly and moisture with the water. The compost is ready within uh, 3 to 4 months after the initial filling. The process required 3 turnings and 6 watering. And the, uh, the compost prepared from the uh, pit of the size is about 15 cart load and water required that is 9000 9, to 10000 liter per cart load of the compost. Uh, you can see the this is the pit or the trench method which will be used for preparation of the compost. Next one the rainwater compost also called aerobic heap method. This method is used mainly in the heavy rainfall area where the pits are likely to be filled with water and composting is done uh, only above the ground level. The hips are prepared uh, in the size of pyramid that is 2.5 by 2.5 meter at the bottom, then 2 by 2 meter at the top and the 1 meter in the height. The material is crushed and used as a same in case of the indoor uh, method but uh, watering is not essential unless there is a long break of rainfall. Then top is covered with dark. Two turnings are given. Each turning uh, hips gets reduced in size. The final size of the hip will be 1.2 by 1.2 by 1 meter, and the manure is ready about two and a half months. In a heavy rainfall area, it may be prepared under shade to avoid excessive leaching. Uh, this is a rainwater composting, or uh, also called as rain uh, 
uh, aerobic hip method uh, it is modified indoor method involving the use of farm uh, waste with the rain and uh, water canal water this is over 2.5 broad 1 meter height and the 60 centimeter deep and 4.5 meter broad uh, first turning is given after the presentation of rain water this is up to depth of 15 to 25 centimeter and second and third turning at 20 days interval and six watering and three turnings are required for a uh, rain water compost or composting third one the bangalore hot uh, method that is our anaerobic range uh, trench method in above mentioned methods there is a efficient disintegration of the organic matter by promoting the maximum aerating uh, and keeping the heap moist by frequent watering but there is a loss of nitrogen to the extent of 40 to 60 percent and hence the acharya proposed this method that is bangalore hot uh, uh, formation method in this method the composition uh, decomposition should be done under the reduced air supply the material is allowed to remain in pit or trench throughout uh, the period of decomposition this uh, eliminates the necessities of turning and watering the material uh, now and then and after the initial uh, aerobic decomposition during first 8 to 10 days then the, there is a rapid increase in temperature the material undergoes semi anaerobic uh, decomposition when temperature begins to fall uh, the supply of the air is cut off by pulling the material in the area in, in uh, under the ground trench under this condition uh, this condition the decomposition uh, is more gradual and slow and takes more time for about 6 to 8 months the site selected for digging strength should be at high level the size of pit should be 10 by 1.5 by 1 meter the fill the trench 30 to 50 cm above the ground level the upper surface of the heap should be given a dome shape and they covered with the modern plaster about 2.5 cm thick and the whole trench is filled to in this way by section by section this is a bangalore method of composting can see here and next one the methods of preparation of FOM. the FOM is a mixture of cattle dung urine litter material portion of the fodder not consumed by cattle and uh, other domestic waste like ash the collected and dumped into a pit or heap in the corner of the back ad the factors affecting the compo uh, composition of the FOM depends on the source of manure food of the animal age and condition function of the animal nature and proportion of litter preservation uh, uh, and uh, manner uh, manner of shortage then losses during handling and storage of FOM that is losses during handling the loss of liquid portion of urine loss of solid portion of the dung the losses during storage they were leaching by volatilization then different uh, methods of preparation of FOM are uh, pit or trench heap method and the box method these are three methods of uh, uh, are used for the preparation of FOM that is first one pit or trench method in this method is recommended by HRSCR for the areas less than uh, uh, 750 mm rainfall per year. The pit should be 6, point, uh, 6 meter long, 1.5 meter broad and the 1 meter length of the pit should be in uh, sloping in one direction. The section of 1 meter length of pit from one end is taken for up, uh, up for the filling and the uh, on the floor of the pit about 4 kg of the straw or the farm waste should be spread uh, as in the absorbent. The farm waste materials should be spread on the floor in the evening before trying the uh, trying of the cattle in the shed and in the morning shed bedding material of the or, or, or the litter should be collected and fill, fill in, uh, it into the pit. Then after collecting all the dungs and earrings soak the bedding it should be well mixed so that every piece of the straw come in contact with the dung and urine to facilitate the better decomposition of the material. The material should be arranged layer by layer. By, for about 30 cm deep until the pit is filled. Every day the layer of soil uh, about 2 cm deep. This helps in the absorbing ammonia that uh, may otherwise escape and it uh, will be keeping the material moist. The top of the heap is made of uh, dome shape and the plaster with the mixture of the soil and dung. Then F1 is ready for uh, use within the 6 to 7 months. This is the first one, pit and uh, pit or trench method. Second, that is heap method. In heavy rainfall area, the heap method of uh, storing the manure is recommended. The heaps are prepared above ground and the manure are suited on these uh, high lying sites. Then every day, the material arranged layer by layer. Each layer is equal length and breadth with height of 30 cm. And when the heap is about 2 meter high, uh, it is rec uh, rounded on the top and plaster over uh, with the mixture of soil and dung. And the manure is ready for use after about four to five months in heap method third one that is box method in this method the cattle said itself used for preparing and storing a foil 
the floor of the shed is dug point uh, is dug uh, that is 0.5 to 1 meter below ground level and the straw leaves and the other refuse are spread uh, daily on the floor uh, tops of the urine the litter and dung uh, are trampled under the feet of the uh, animal tied in the shed this process continues till the unsunken uh, unsung, uh, sunken portion rises uh, slightly above the ground level and the manure is then dug out and uh, applied uh, to the field uh, this is the details about the uh, composting fom and the met different methods of uh, preparation of the compost and the fom thank you